can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say Hi guys, to start this makeup look I'm using my primer as always and this one is one of my favorites. It's the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer Water and I'm just going to apply that all over the face and allow it to sink into the skin. For foundation today I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 104 and the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 125 and I'm just going to mix the two together and apply a layer of that mix all over the face and this is going to even out my skin tone cover any imperfections, sit in dark circles, and you guys know the drill, giving me a nice even tone. For concealer today, I'm using this NYX concealer, and this one's in the shade Yellow. And I'm just going to apply that underneath the eye to further cover the dark circles, and I'm also going to apply them on the eyelids, and this is going to cover the veins and discoloration. And then I will apply that on my smile lines, because when you smile a lot, sometimes I find creases there. So applying concealer there, it prevents that. And then I'll just apply it on the rest of the areas just to balance out the highlight. Following that, I will just blend all the concealer out with my damp beauty blender. I'm going to do some baking with a pressed powder. All you do is just scrape it out and you can do some baking with it. This powder in particular is the Rimmel London Press Powder in the shade 001. And I'm just going to apply that on the exact same areas that I apply my concealer. And this is going to set my concealer in place, allowing it to last all day and prevent it from creasing. To bronze up the face, I'm using this Milani bronzer. I'm not quite sure the number of this. I will leave everything in the description box. Sometimes I forget. I'm really sorry. But anyways, I'm just going to bring back some color and shadows to my face by applying this bronzer on the hollows of the cheeks, on the sides of the forehead, on the forehead, and on the jawline. Usually when you apply powder on your face, it just tends to completely erase your features. So in order to bring them back, just apply some bronzer. With a clean blending brush, this one's a flat top from Real Techniques, I'm just going to buff out the powder from Rimmel London and just to make sure that it's nicely blended, even though I did miss a spot on my right bottom cheek. Picking up this palette from BH Cosmetics is called Wild and Alluring. I'm just going to take the baked bronzer mixed with the blush and this is going to give me a nice blush color. I am obsessed with it. It was so beautiful. I really liked it. I'm just going to apply that all over the cheeks just to give my skin a healthy look. Picking up my Essence All About Sunrise palette, I'm taking the vanilla eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it on the tip of the nose, on the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow. And quickly with my Kat Von D Shading Light Contour palette, I'm just going to do a quick nose contour. I do have an in-depth tutorial on how I contour my nose and it'll be in the description box. Once again with the Wild and Alluring palette, I'm picking up this light pink eyeshadow and just so you guys know, they're all baked eyeshadows and yes, I'm going to do a pink smoky eye with all baked eyeshadows. I'm just going to apply that baked eyeshadow on the crease and this is going to be my transition shade. With the blush, which is a little bit darker, I'm going to repeat the exact same process and all I'm doing here is creating shadow on the crease, making it deeper and smokier. With this NYX Jumbo Pen in the shade Yogurt, it's a nice light pink cream eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and this is going to serve me as a base for my glue, which is the Ite Cosmetics Glue. Oh my gosh, it is amazing! I cannot say anything bad about this glue and the glitter. It's absolutely gorgeous. I ordered so many of them after I got a few because I didn't know if I was going to like them. 
but they're just so absolutely stunning. I love everything about this. The combination of these together, the glue and the glitter, is just life. Super easy. As you can see, I just applied a thin layer of the glue on top of the NYX cream eyeshadow and let the glue get tacky and right after that I just packed my glitter with my finger onto my eyelid and that's it. But once I do that I'm taking my NYC liquid eyeliner, one of my favorites, and I'm just going to do a line above my upper lash line and this is going to help me blend my lash band for my falsies and using a liquid liner on top of glitter it's a better option because it glides right on and if you're using gel for example it's going to be a lot harder to do a wing line on top of glitter. With MAC Nylon, this is a frosted eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply that on the brow bone and this is just going to highlight that area. For lashes today, I'm using one of my favorite lashes in the whole wide world and you guys know it. And they are the 102 by Red Cherry and this is a brand new pair. I'm obsessed. I love using brand new eyelashes. It's the best feeling ever. And as always, I place them on the center of my lash line and then I place them on the outer corner and then I place them in the inner corner and we're ready to go flying away. Bye-bye. <laughs> Taking NYX yogurt once more. I'm going to apply that in my waterline and underneath my waterline and this is just going to basically be a base again for the eyeshadows that I'm going to apply under there. Going back with this light pink eyeshadow from the same palette, I'm just going to apply that underneath the lower lash lines. And then I will take another darker eyeshadow which is the blush and I will repeat the exact same process and all I'm doing here is just giving me a light pink smoky lash line if you know what I mean. Going back in with MAC Nylon, I'm just going to apply that on the tear duct area and this is also going to attract a little bit more light to that area. Taking my L'Oreal Infallible setting spray, I'm just going to do that, set all my makeup in place. And just before the setting spray dries and it's a little tacky, I'm using my Urban Decay face palette and I'm just going to take the highlight. It's a nice pink light highlight and I will apply that on the highest points of the cheeks, the cupid's bow and the chin. For lipstick today, I'm using Midi, and this one's from ColourPop, and it's a nice nude pink, but it's a really ultra matte lip. This formula is not for everybody. I find that it really dries my lip, but I still love the colors. So just to be able to wear this lipstick, I will just top it with any other lipstick. And this one just happens to be the Milani Innocence lipstick. I'm only applying it to change the consistency, not so much the color. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this pastel pink glitter, I just hurt my tooth, glittery makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy and if you did don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for being here and as always I'll see you in my next tutorial very soon. Bye bye! Mwah.